Thank you, Chairman Markey. And let me start by saying that I think all of us as Americans should be concerned about the kind of monopoly that China has been able to achieve on these critical elements of the solar supply chain. Um, similarly, uh, it's extremely important that the United States works with our partners and allies um, in order to ensure transparency and reliability of critical mineral supply chains around the world and to develop diversity of sources. In that regard, I'm proud to say that the ENR Bureau has really been ahead of the curve in developing policy mechanisms and multilateral structures to work with like-minded countries on these issues through initiatives like the EITI, the Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative, um, through the Mineral Security Partnership. Um, this, these are the industries of the future. And uh, Mr. Chairman, if you'll allow me a, a short comment about Massachusetts. A, a great example is, is an American company that I was able to work with as ambassador in Greece called Advent Technologies. Advent is a pathbreaker on hydrogen fuel cell technology. Um, it has uh, an operation in Greece, and I was very proud to support Advent in their advocacy before the Greek government, and they just, just last week um, received a positive signal they'll be getting about a billion dollars of EU funding uh, to deploy hydrogen fuel cell technologies in western Macedonia, a region of Greece formerly dominated by coal mining. It's a great example of the work our embassies can do, but it's also a great example of how we need to build these international partnerships on these cutting-edge clean technologies. Um, I, this is an area where we can prevail. Thank you very much. Excellent. No, thank you.